Bill Gates casting doubt on Tesla's plan to get into long haul trucking. Gates writing in his blog that the problem is that batteries are big, they are heavy. Even with big breakthroughs in battery technology, electric vehicles will probably never be a practical solution for things like 18 wheelers, cargo ships, and passenger jets. Gates says maybe biofuels are better instead as a possible solution to commercial trucks. Tesla has released a time-lapse video of its semi-truck completing a 500-mile trip with a full load on a single charge, something Bill Gates said wasn't possible. In a blog post, Gates argued that all electric semi-trucks like the Tesla Semi would probably never work because batteries would be too heavy. He said that the problem is that batteries are big and heavy. The more weight you're trying to move, the more batteries you need to power the vehicle. But the more batteries you use, the more weight you add, and the more power you need. Tesla has now shared a full video of the entire 500-mile drive from Fremont to San Diego with a full load of almost 82,000 pounds. When Tesla first announced it earlier this week without proof, many naysayers were claiming that there would be some caveats, even claiming that Tesla didn't say it was on a single charge. But the video shows a continuous drive with a single break without charging over 500 miles. It looks like Tesla Semi can have an even greater range, since it completed the 500-mile trip and had 4% left at the end. The truck also had to go through the grapevine and climb quite a bit. On a flatter route, it could possibly achieve a range closer to 600 miles. The Tesla Semi has a massive battery pack that requires more charging time and faster charging speeds. However, Tesla has a solution, mega chargers. For long-distance journeys to be sustainable for truckers, the company has been building a network of mega chargers at trucking rest stops across the US and Europe for over a year. And while creating their own charging network, Tesla and other automakers have asked governments to invest in charging infrastructure for medium and heavy-duty electric vehicles like trucks and buses. Volvo VNR's highest range trim is its 6x4 tractor, which packs 275 miles of range when configured with its 6 battery offering. It is also capable of regenerating between 5 and 15% of its energy through braking. It has a top speed of 68 miles per hour and is an ideal fit for local distribution and regional transportation with planned routes and frequent stops, especially food service delivery. This may be why McDonald's Canada ordered a few. The Freightliner E Cascadia was just delivered for the first time last week, with Penske commemorating first deliveries. This truck packs a 230-mile range rating with its top-of-the-line offering. Freightliner only offers a day cab, and with the range specs, it would also be ideal for local or regional deliveries. Its 80% charging in 90 minutes will keep deliveries going without much of a delay. Nikola's Trey offers 330 miles of range. Nikola has ramped up production of the Trey recently to reach 75 units in Q3, arguably the best competitor to the Tesla Semi. The Trey may not offer charging speeds as fast as the E-Cascadia, but its impressive range ratings make it more applicable for longer routes. The Semi offers the best of all of these, along with a 500-mile range rating. Tesla claims that the Semi's drivetrain is guaranteed to last 1 million miles, and that even if two of its motors break down, the Tesla Semi can still function and beat a diesel truck in acceleration and range. At first glance, the Semi just seems like a market-leading version of most Class 8 EVs on the market. Tesla still leans on self-driving and autonomous trucking as where the Semi will truly set itself apart from competitors. But it may be some time before truckers can let the Semi drive them between hubs. At the unveiling of the production version of the Tesla Semi, the automaker announced a lot of things about the electric truck, but they didn't say a word about it being equipped with autopilot, full self-driving technology. That's despite being equipped with the needed hardware. When Tesla first announced the Tesla Semi in 2017, the company was still early in its autopilot and full self-driving efforts. But the automaker had already announced that all production vehicles going forward will eventually be capable of self-driving with future software updates. Tesla didn't go as far as talking about self-driving when it comes to the semi-truck, 
but the company did announce at the time that it will be equipped with enhanced autopilot. Along with the safety features that autopilot can enable, Tesla had also previously announced that the Semi would be able to achieve a sort of convoy mode, where you can get several Semi trucks to follow each other closely autonomously on the highway. Now that the production version of the Semi has been unveiled, Tesla has removed all mention of the electric truck being equipped with autopilot or this convoy mode. Tesla also didn't mention anything related to advanced driver assist features during its presentation about the production version of the Semi truck. But while Tesla didn't mention anything about these features, it looks like the hardware is there to make it happen. It could be that Tesla doesn't want to talk too much about autopilot or self-driving when it comes to the Tesla Semi, since right now, and likely for the foreseeable future, it's going to need truck drivers to get on board with the vehicle. That might be more difficult to achieve if you talk about eventually replacing them with features already existing inside the electric truck. That's not really transparent, but it's business. Either way, the Tesla Semi is no doubt a huge development in the world of EV trucking.